Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Shay. Today I'll be showing you how to set up a hookah, how to get your first smoke, and how to put it out. So stay tuned. Thank you. Okay, so the items that you will need for this will be your hookah, char charcoal, tongs, shisha tobacco, the aluminum foil, matches lighter, aluminum foil. Also, I purchased this from the Vapor Smoke Shop. It comes with holes already in it. Or you can tear off aluminum foil and poke holes with a pen, pencil, earring, anything thin to poke holes in it, however you want to do it. And also, you can purchase the tongs. All this is really all at the shop. So you can, also, you can basically get all this at the shop that can supply for you for your hookah. Okay, so let's get started. First off, you will want to fill your bottom piece with water. Um, you could do maybe half. I always do half. Maybe it's about right there. Say about half. Fill it up with water. It doesn't matter what type of water that you use. I just prefer a bottle of water. Okay. Okay. Okay, next will be the shisha after the water fill. As you can see, I already have used it, and I wanted to show you something. If the shisha is not all the way burnt through, you can still use it. You can take some of the burnt pieces that's already burnt up, take them out, and you can still use some that's not all burnt up all the way. See, like if you see stuff like that, Take mostly the black pieces off that's already cooked and throw them out and just re-add. Or you could just empty all of it and just put some more in there. Okay, so this is the shisha that comes out the pack, which has already been opening and I got watermelon flavor. That's how it look. And you got to put a little amount up here where my finger is you're gonna put it up here you will not overflow it you're just gonna put enough to smoke and this should be how it looks okay notice that I did have something previous before I added some more so that's how it looks it's not overflowing it's not all stuff and packed at the top it's just enough Okay, I tore a piece of aluminum foil off just to show you in case you want to use your own foil and you didn't want to buy none from the vapor shop. Make sure you cover it all up like this. And you're going to take your pencil, pen, earring, or whatever, and you're just going to jab little holes in it like this. You're gonna kind of poke them up everywhere. And the reason for the holes is for the charcoal to kind of cook the shisha as you smoke. And you will see in just a minute what I'm talking about. Just kind of poke it everywhere. Well, that's a little bigger hole, but that'll be okay. Or you could use this, this aluminum foil that I purchased from the vapor shop also with holes in it. So I, it's, it doesn't matter whichever one you put next. You're gonna get your charcoal. This is the charcoal. This is what it looks like. And ladies and gentlemen, I wanna let you know that this is a smaller hookah. Um, this was like 29. You can also purchase bigger ones, but I wanted to do the small one first and then I will upgrade. So these, this charcoal is for this size hookah, okay? This is a smaller version of the charcoal. I wanted to show you how it look, but you light your charcoal. This is how it looks. It almost look like a firework, like a sparkler or something like that. And you will see the sparks in it. As the sparks kind of wear down off of it, you will begin to see that it turns a little red. You can blow on it like this. And the more you blow on it, the redder it gets. <sighs> the 
you could continuously to blow or you could kind of let it sit for a while until it all catches red. I normally blow on it a couple of times. And this right here, this section, I forgot to show you the side, but you'll see like a little circle in the charcoal. You will put that side down first like that. And as you can see, that's how it will look after you light it up. And now I will wait maybe about three minutes and that's just me. I wait about three minutes and let everything catch, you know, good heat to it and let it turn red. And then we can begin our smoke to it. Stay tuned. Hello. Okay, guys. It's been maybe about three minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna begin to see where it's at and see what can what kind of smoke can reproduce. That's a little smoke. So as you see, as you kind of wait and give it a little more couple of minutes, your smoke will get bigger. You can either keep pulling on it. As you see, the smoke is getting bigger. Okay, this is how it look when you pull on it. When you inhale it, you see that the water is bubbling and also your charcoal is still red, which is, that's good. It's supposed to look like that. That's how you get the bigger smoke. It's cooking your shisha that's up inside, so. One more time for the smoke since we kind of let it sit a little bit. And that's it. When you get ready to put your hookah out, you can just let your charcoal die down, just like in a barbecue grill. Let it cook down. It ain't going to catch on fire, or you can put it in water, however you want to do it. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, comment below. Thank you.